Hi, my name's Kirsten and I've been here at Kellyville Pets since 2014. I've worked in the zoo and reptile industry since 2011 and being a snake owner myself, I'm passionate about everything reptile. This is Viserion and he is a central bearded dragon and today he's going to be assisting us in demonstrating how to feed your dragon. There are three main categories of food that make up the diet of your bearded dragon. They include fruits and vegetables, live food and supplements and processed foods. The diet of hatchling and juvenile dragons should consist of 80% live food and 20% vegetables. The diet of an adult bearded dragon should consist of 60% vegetables and 40% live food. When preparing food for your hatchling or juvenile bearded dragon, you want to make sure that your vegetables are cut up nice and finely and that you grate your carrot and zucchini. Once all your vegetables are cut up, pop them into a bowl and place them into the dragon's enclosure. Your dragon will help themselves to it when they're ready. You want to be offering your vegetables to your dragon every day. There is processed foods available for your bearded dragon, like this lizard food here from Better Farm. It is a good idea to mix Better Farm's lizard food through your vegetable mix, as it is a great source of nutrients, vitamins and minerals. Live food will make up the majority of your bearded dragon's diet. Starting with treats such as your mealworms and your silkworms, as mealworms are quite high in fat and your silkworms are only seasonal. The majority of your bearded dragon's live insect diet will consist of wood cockroaches and crickets. To get the most out of your crickets, it is recommended to use a cricket keeper. A cricket keeper is an ideal place to house your crickets and also prolongs their life. It allows you to feed them and is well ventilated to keep the crickets cool. As it is made entirely of plastic, it's very easy to clean. Along with the correct UV lighting, a sprinkling on the live food with Better Farm multiple dust will help prevent metabolic bone disease. This dust can also be added to your vegetable mix. Just see the package for dosages. The dark tubes inside the Cricut Keeper provide an ideal hiding place for your crickets. They are removable for easy feeding and stop your crickets escaping into your house. To feed the dragon, simply remove the tubes and place them into the dragon's tank gently shaking the cylinder to release an adequate amount of crickets. You also need to keep in mind that your live insects should be as small as the distance between the dragon's eyes. Live insects should be fed to hatchlings and juveniles at least two to three times a day. Once they reach adulthood, you can start feeding your bearded dragon once every three days. There is no specific amount of live insects that you should be feeding your bearded dragon. However, a good handful will do the job. By providing all of this to your bearded dragon, you are creating a balanced diet which will help to keep your dragon happy, healthy and prolong its life. So now that you know how to feed your bearded dragon, if you do have any further questions, don't hesitate to come down here and see us at Kellyville Pets.